Hey guys, it's Dario from Infamous Automotive. Sorry for the delays. Uh, it's been a pretty rough winter here so far. Today we finally got a, a pretty decent day, so I managed to get the car fired up, take it for a drive, and then finally answer to everybody that's been asking on the YouTube page about what I'm building. So if you can kind of tell what it is that here, it's definitely not a Fox body, it's not a B body, it's not an Impala, nothing that big. It's a G-body Malibu that is a complete piece of shit. Uh, I got this car for 200 bucks. I bought it at night. These cars are like super popular in this area because everybody wants them. Like G-bodies are huge. Usually they're rusted out. You see them with the bumpers hanging off of them because the exhaust rusts out, rusts out the rear frame. So I found this on our local Craigslist type thing. And uh, I messaged the guy and I'm like, I'll come out tonight. It was dark already because it was winter, five o'clock, it gets dark here. And uh, I go out there, he had it all jacked up. I look underneath, frame rails are good. I'm like, okay, the rest didn't look that great. I'll show you some of the stuff that I, I have. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty bad, but uh, jacked it up, looked okay. So then a couple weeks later, or a week or two later, me and my buddy Ryan go out, pick it up again at night. Don't, snowing, don't get a really good look at the car. Get home the next day, there's six or eight inches of snow. Don't really look at it. So like, it was literally probably about two or three weeks after I bought the car that I actually got a good look at it in the daytime where there was no snow at it. And then I kind of thought to myself, I was like, what the fuck did I buy? But... I figured, what the hell, I'm doing this as cheap as possible, it doesn't really matter, it doesn't really matter what the outside looks like, the main thing is that the only way you really, really can pull this deal off is if you start with a vehicle that already has a small block Chevy or a 4.3 or something GM related like that, because you can reuse the tranny, you can reuse the rad, you just need the $35 mounts to adapt the, the, the engine mounts to the side, and a lot of the stuff will work the same. If you're doing like a Fox body or some Dodge product or something, right off the bat you're going to be buying a transmission, you're going to be buying a rad to make it work, and a bunch of other little things. But it's all the little things. Anybody that's built a car knows that when you build a car, it's the little things that kill you. You go to the parts store, you spend a hundred bucks on shit you never even thought you were going to spend. It's just the way it is. So I'm trying to keep track of every little thing I do on this. And people have been asking me, well, what if you don't do it for $2,000? I'm like, well, then it'll be $2,500. But my goal is to shoot for the moon and get it as cheap as possible and, and uh, go from there. So I'll do a quick walk around here and then maybe we'll go for a cruise. I don't know. I'll show you some shit I got in the trunk and we'll go from there. Well, here she is in all her glory. This is one of the Landu models with the half final top that's all cracked to shit. This car's got some weird three-tone. It's light gray on the top, kind of a weird gray vinyl, medium gray on the middle, dark gray on the bottom. We were thinking about calling it 50 shades of gray, but we'll see because rust isn't a color of gray, so. It's got the OG wire wheel hubcaps on it. Flaky chrome. Burgundy interior. It's got some weird Bondo flaking off above the door. I don't know how you get a fucking dent there, but it is what it is. It's got some weird white stuff that was leaking out of the wheel. Some awesome speed holes down here. Some more speed holes back here. I'm gonna, walking on the road, I'm going to get hit by a car. Some people would probably consider it pretty good, but I've seen a lot better 
but of course they cost more money. White wall tires. It's got a trailer hitch. It's a six way trailer plug up by the plate. I bought this off a guy who bought it in 1985 off the original owner. He drove it every day, snow, rain, sleet, summer, whatever. His kids learned how to drive with it. And then when his kids were, when his kids were older, he parked it on his farm. And then they recently sold the farm. So he had to, he had to get rid of it. So that's kind of how I ended up with it. But I was having issues with the key because I think the tumbler fell apart, so I just fixed that problem. But, yeah, this is it. I'll give you a quick look at what I got in the trunk and the engine and whatever else we're going to do. Here's some of the junk in the trunk, so to speak. So here's like a silicone coupler I got off of eBay. Yep, man, made in Italy. Some weird fucking purple color and stuff like that. These are the ICT billet motor mounts. These are awesome. If I, I highly recommend if you end up doing a GM swap with an LS, get these ones. They're like $35 and they work wicked. I'm going to include oil and filter on my pricing. Here's a Parts Master $2 cheap ass long filter that we always use. The sloppy standard BR7EF. Got eight of those, that's gonna be included in the pricing. There's my $100 b and I think it's a nitrous hole shot 3000 or something like that. Guy had it up on the internet for sale. I messaged him and asked what he wanted for it. And then I for totally forgot about it. He messaged me like two or three months later and said, hey, if you, you, if you still want this converter, I'll sell it to you for a hundred bucks. So I was like, wicked. So I got that. Got a bunch of leftover exhaust. I bought that that down pipe and the other pipe. That's off my buddy Ryan's Vega. I bought that off of him just because it was a lot of useful bands and it's got a little tiny muffler, but who knows if we'll end up using that. And here is like one of the things that if you're gonna end up saving money, this is what's gonna end up saving money, but it might be also the reason why you completely fail. This is this is of course a Bosch 044 type pump and uh, it's a Epman made in Italy. I think it was $21 plus shipping so it was like 40 bucks. I've used them before. We've never dynoed with one but we have ran a bunch of cars on it but for this project I'm willing to roll the dice considering it has decapped injectors and it's just going to have the stock tank sumped and all that kind of shit but everybody's really scared of fuel pumps and I totally understand why because you can buy an AEM pump for like 150 bucks off Amazon or eBay or whatever but I don't have 150 bucks in the budget for this thing so so that's what I'm using with that oh there it goes there's my starter and alternator I'm just storing all my shit in the trunk so we'll just walk around to the front of the car if you guys haven't seen any of my other videos, this is my other car, the Chevette. We call it the Po Mod because it's pretty much as close to a Pro Mod that I'll ever have. I'm just waiting for some engine parts on it. We're putting it back together this year. Uh, here's the engine. Good old 305 four barrel. Nothing too crazy. Most of the shit's gonna go in the bush. I'm hoping maybe I could sell the motor or something, but I'm not overly concerned. Either way, it's going out, LS is going in. I'm gonna ditch the AC because that fucking box is huge. I'm gonna probably crawl some alleys or go buy some dumpsters and see if I can find an old fridge door to plug up the hole just to save some money. You gotta be ingenuitive when you're doing shit like this. But yeah, that's pretty much that part of it. Uh, I've already started working on the turbo kit. I have no idea if it's gonna fit. We were just hanging around the shop one night. I had a bunch of leftover bends and I kind of just winged it off of the two stock exhaust manifolds. So 
one of the next things that'll be going in is we're gonna be putting the motor in getting it running and then I don't know really where we're gonna go from that probably see what breaks first uh, we're gonna leave the stock diff in it weld it up uh, I've also been exploring options for how I can do an extremely cheap 8.8 swap in this thing like I don't even give a shit if it's four lug in the back that's how how cheap I'm trying to do it a swap so I picked up a I do have an 8.8 with 308s in it that I picked up on half price day since the last half price day for 45 bucks so if I can put some pieces together with that that might happen but I really don't want to have to buy the $250 upper control arm kit and I really don't want it to wheel hop because that's what happens if you don't so that's kind of the other thing I'm looking at um so what else are we gonna do I got a bunch more stuff at the shop a few more things are rolling in I'm just waiting for valve springs and then we're gonna smash the motor together might get my kids to spray paint it just because they've been really wanting to be a part of this project uh, I'll find some leftover spray cans or something like that to not cut into the budget too much but I'm keeping track of this thing down to every nickel and dime so it should be pretty interesting to see where I'm at and I have no problem of anybody calling me out on something I bought like if you want it explained how I did something or where I got it or what I paid for it or how I did it or whatever call me out leave it in the comments whatever I'm not trying to hide anything this is a straight up cash deal 2,000 bucks I'm not trading stuff to Billy's brother to get this and buying five of things to keep one and stuff like that this is just straight up two grand and I bought it Thanks.